Um, I mainly joined for two reasons. Uh, one was just the sense of community, helping out the community. I always wanted to do it. Um, also, uh, I, at that time I had a five or six year old boy, so I wanted to show that, you know, it means something to, to give back. It's not always about yourself, but it's to give back and, and be a part of it. Uh, we were at a, a dance down in Greenport at the old skating rink, and uh, uh, on the way home, it was New Year's Eve dance, and we were on the way home about 1.30 in the morning, and there was a big fire down where the uh, uh, miniature golf place is between Greenport and South Pole. My wife and I were riding with George and his wife in their car, and he, we came home, he dumped us off because I was not in the department yet, and he went back down, and he was there all night until the next morning. And uh, it kind of sparked my interest, why, you know, I better join so that I can be involved in stuff like this. Uh, I was working on the farm full time in the district and I was home all day and we needed members during the day so that's one of the reasons I joined. Plus a lot of the people that were members I knew. I guess because I've been born and raised here and it's a, I don't know, I did it because it's just in my genes, I guess, to join and just help others. And I just, I'm an EMT, so I love being an EMT. Yeah. Everybody in my family was in the fire department, and that's why I basically did it. Uh, from the beginning, basically just for the social part. Yeah. You know, all my friends and uh, co-workers, uh, my father, uh, a lot of members, people I knew were already in the fire department, so that's why I joined. I joined because, truthfully, my father asked me to, but all my cousins and all my uncles was in, and at the time, it was a thing to do. Um, I had returned back to Southfold and um, just met a lot of people. A lot of them were in the fire department, very nice people. I wanted to give back to the community. And a fellow working with me by the name of Pep Cochran, who was also a chief in the fire department, and he was a sergeant on the police force later, he got me in the fire department. You know, as some of the more experienced people, you know, unfortunately pass away, um, there will be changes, I guess, computer-wise, things like that. I think there's more training also than there was in the past, if, if there's gonna be any more significant changes than, than years ago. Oh, there's so much, the equipment has changed so drastically, even from the personal gear you wear to the breathing apparatus, the trucks are immense. Look at the size of them now. The, uh, we're, we're in rescue right now. I think my first year is, oh, my last year when I got as chief, I think we had, we were right around 300 alarms. Now they run six and 700 in here. On the job training. Oh, we, but we had more fires and we had a lot more house fires in the old days because of, you know, space heaters and things like that. Uh, and that part was pretty easy, uh, you know, picking up because you see what the other guys were doing and you learned how to handle a hose or a nozzle, whatever. Um, and, and now uh, it's, it, there's so much um, academy type training that they, they, they have to do. The training, a lot of training. Uh, I don't see how the young people today can keep up with studies and do the training. That's the biggest change is ladies in the fire department. Uh, when I joined, it was just all men. But since then, the ladies, just, that's the biggest change. You know, you, you go fast probably faster than we should sometimes. Um, but I think we, you get nervous when it's someone you know and you get worried. And I, I find that very hard. It's a lot easier for me to answer a call when it's someone I don't know. Having the time to do it all, to do what you really want. When the fire was so blue, it was always a challenge in the days, but uh, the job got done and nobody got hurt. Is my name because as a female I had to live up to my dad's a commissioner an ex-chief an ex-captain and then my two brothers were 
um, back in their day were the best interior firefighters ever. <laughs> but, um, and then being a female, you know, and it was hard. I had to prove myself and everybody thought, oh, it was easy because, oh, you're the commissioner's daughter. No, it wasn't. It was tough. I had to literally prove myself that I could be one of the guys. The younger people have a challenge because they have to go through so many schools now to be certified and classified to do what they do. I really don't think there are any challenging parts. It's just being part of the community and doing what's, what's expected of you. Um, being both firefighter, being an EMT, just being able to be there to help somebody that's really, really in need of help. The feedback you get from the people that you help, knowing that you, you are helping someone, being able to go to your lawns and direct traffic because I'm a fire police. So. Doing good for the, for the public, right? in all honesty. It's just Helping the community. Everybody's got to say that. I think all the uh, people that you meet, and even when they're not in the fire department anymore, they're still friends that you have for your whole life. Being in the ambulance and just helping everybody and just, just calming people down and being with them and talking to them and it's just, it's so rewarding. Uh, all of the, uh, the people that's in the fire department over the years and everything and uh, so a lot of people come and go and There is a sense of family. family. Um, Everybody seems, you know, we, everybody has their different opinions and all that, but once there is a call, be it a fire, be it a, a rescue call, everybody is on the same page, and the main goal is to either put out that fire or help, help the victim. The family. Um, it's, it's a close-knit group of people. Even though we all have different opinions and everything, we kind of finally can get together and solve any problem and, and work it out without too much problems. Everybody's so good to everybody. If there's a problem, everybody helps everybody. And everybody, it's just, it's like a family here. It really is. It's, they're all your brothers and sisters and you just look out for one another. We have three different companies and we good, good naturedly, you know, joke with each other about which company is better. But when you're starting to, when you go on the job, uh, your, your company goes by the way and we're members of the department. We, work as members of a team from the department. Uh, the people that are in the fire department now know their job and uh, as far as medical service goes, I classify our fire department on members as number one. And these people are always here for you. If you ever need anything, you need help and something, they're always, they're always here for you. It's gonna be tough because they're gonna to have to find the time to flood the fire department and other things, and they're gonna get frustrated and maybe wanna quit, but I would say hang in there and, and you'll be able to make it and it'll be rewarding for you. Uh, go in with your eyes open and know what's expected of you, because today to join the fire departments, lots of hours of training involved and you, you wanna know that ahead of time. That it's a great place to be. Actually, my kids just joined, so now we have my dad, myself, and my kids just joined, so we just have three generations joining. So it's awesome, and it's a great place to do and help people. Be prepared to learn a lot. Make sure you want to do it, because if you don't do your training and keep up with your percentages, you, you get dropped from the membership. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of young people come in, and they'll sign up for like a month, two months, and they figure out that they can't do it and they drop out. They definitely join. It's, it's a great experience. Again, it, it's all family. Again, you hear it often, you know, fam but it, it truly is a family. Um, it's rewarding. Um, you meet a lot of good people. Be it's, it's a good thing. You'll enjoy it. Make sure that's what you want to do because it's going to take a lot of time. There's a lot of school to go to, a lot of work, a lot of time to be put into it and if you don't have the time to do it you're not going to be able to and you're going to get frustrated and, and you're going to end up not making it. When you, when you come in uh, pay attention to what you're learning but also do not be afraid to ask questions of the older guys who are standing off on the side because we do have a wealth of history with us 
and most of us are very eager to talk to new members because we know we need new members and we need them all the time. Hang in there, you know, and like I said, you, you got to do what you got to do, but uh, that's, do it. You got to do it. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it for your kids.